hello guys back again so at the very first time as you can see that you can browse to here any type of file explorer right here i am using the default file explorer which is available in the rom itself so this is the apk we need right now to install the latest 8.2 version of the google camera so just like a normal apk you have to install it just by clicking on the apk itself now moving towards the downloading then downloading instructions of this apk is pretty simple you just have to move on to the poco f1 group on telegram channel i will link down this group in description box below and you just have to click on the link where this apk file is situated clicking on the link there will be a g drive link which will be opening and you simply have to download and it's done so moving further to the installation steps here we go and you can see that our camera app has been installed itself so moving to the home screen as you can see this is the camera app with whole lot of new features allow for the permissions which camera app ask itself about storage camera mic and everything itself and yes here we go we got our google camera 8.2 installed there are pretty new features in this camera itself but the only thing which i didn't like is that the loading speed the camera take too much of time and also when it's about switching modes between camera and video itself so as you can see all these modes are actively present in this camera app and moving towards the mod settings all these mod settings are present where you can tweak the settings the way you want advanced options such as optical image stabilization eis etc works pretty fine in this camera app social share option where you can edit on which application you want to share any screenshot or any photo itself advanced option where you can enable hdr plus itself and so on moving further you will get all the option and also 40k fps video recording in the camera app so you can record 40k fps video without any issues in full 60 fps resolution so moving further as you can see this is the camera app and again as i told you after applying settings it takes a while to get that settings applied and until then your camera app takes time to activate back again so moving further as you can see this is the video section where you will get all the settings of slow motion time lapse and normal video recording itself all three option works pretty fine here you can see we can switch between the fhd and 4k options where fhd is available in 30 and 60 fps and also 4k is available for 30 and 60 fps itself this is the 60 fps recording we can do on the camera app itself again moving on to the camera as you can see the switching activities has too much of delay and i hope that the developers might fix this in the upcoming update and the camera app will become more snappy and quicker in switching the actions this is the portrait mode which you will get installed in this camera app the only issue i faced was that the switching of activities have quite a delay and also in this camera app you will get this switch of zooming in and zooming out by default by up to 1x and 2x and again you can zoom in and zoom out as per your preferences by pinching in and pinching out screen this is the night side where you will get the astrophotography mode enable and disable option and once you enable it you can also get astrophotography mode activated automatically when you keep your phone stable itself and when the phone is not stable it will show that the night mode has been activated Most of the things in this camera app has been fixed and the camera app APK is coming from the Google Pixel sources itself. Someone has been modded this camera app so that we can use in all the devices. These are some of the samples which I captured using this camera. The sharpness and the contrast rate is pretty good and also clarity is must justified. All the portrait shots and all the other stuff works pretty good and stable. These are some of the night mode shots, astrophotography mode, 
which also shows a greater results. This is the 40k FPS recording which I took where the EIS was activated and you can see this is the 1x and 2x zoom which I am switching amongst them. Personally I didn't feel much difference when EIS was activated and was deactivated but then to the clarity and the 4k 60fps experience was pretty good in this camera app and it actually works. So that's it for this video guys hope you like this video and many people have told me and asked me about make a video on installation of gcam latest version so here we go here you have the latest version of gcam 8.2 installed on your poco f1 and this apk will work on almost all the devices without any issues i have tested this apk on nokia 7.2 and now this is poco f1 so that's it for the video guy if you like this video must hit like and also subscribe this channel for more such content until then see you again in the next one Peace out.